Thank goodness it is snowing here today in Stockholm <laughs> because evidently the lovely Ivana is not allowed to bring her purse in the hockey arena mm -hmm. and so we've creatively hid the purse in a snowbank. Right. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see if the purse is still there. It'll certainly <laughs> need a wash but maybe it'll still be there in a couple hours. Now the team we're watching today is the very team that Matt Sundin played for in the 95 NHL lockout shortened season mm. and after the lockout and he returned to the NHL we know that Matt Sundin went on to become one of the most beloved team captains in recent history of Toronto Maple Leafs not only because he's a full-blown superstar and probably one of the best Swedish players ever but also and this matters he's by all accounts a tremendously good guy Matt Sundin and so for the main years that I was playing hockey five days a week in school out of school on the weekends in the summer uh, the team I was cheering for Toronto Maple Leafs was led by this great Swedish men and so I'm super excited to be here it's our first ever Swedish professional hockey game and I think this arena is the very arena that Matt Sundin played in back in 1995 so let's go check it out after I finish my 100 kroner beer which not great prices but not bad cheaper than Helsinki mm. where we were two weeks ago so let's drink up and go check uh, check the game Wow. The ultras behind the net are fantastic. And I love how the only audio is the ultras. No need for some pop music on the speakers. Just great. And they just switch from red to yellow. Wow, coordination. What coordination? That took some planning, man. Wow. So these are our boards here in uh, blue and red and yellow, I guess. This is our team. Oh yeah, that's why we just went blue. All three colors, red, yellow, blue. Wow. This is one of the best intros I've seen. Uh, best entrances I've seen. And now they're throwing paper in the air. Hi, Tara. And here comes the other team, but not any pyrotechnics for them. They got a simple entrance. <laughs> wow, what an entrance. I loved it, man. Good job, Dirt Gardens. Good job. <laughs> So the game has just begun. I really cannot say enough about the audio level of the fans here. It's so loud in here, which is surprising because it's not the biggest stadium ever. Only one rimmer on the outside, but I love how the seats are really vertical. They go up very quickly. So if you look at the ultras here, even the back row at the very top where it says life is life is not too far from the ice. And I guess their goal song is the same as uh, one of our favorite teams from Finland. Uh, the arena does have like an old school kind of vibe. You almost can't even see where the uh, private boxes are. Ooh! But I guess the private boxes are located all on one end. It's just sort of the idea. This is like the VIP area, I guess, where you can probably drink beer in your seat and there's a bar behind you. But everywhere else, it's an incredibly intimate atmosphere because it's a sort of small, tight-knit arena and the fans are going wild. Wow, it's a great atmosphere. It's a, it's a really great atmosphere. I can't wait to see what happens if the home team scores because they're already going wild. Uh -oh. Just on my left shoulder, I can hear the away team's fans. They don't have as big or as loud of a cheering section, but they're getting into it too. So we do have a little bit of competing cheers, although the home team's fans are so loud. <laughs> Cheer Gardens has got some great fans here. And I guess it's also because this is the first game of the semifinals in the playoffs. And what I really love is even when the whistle blows and the players all take a relaxation for the next puck drop, there's no pop music on the PA. There's no whatever, Justin Bieber or whoever the new cool guy is, The Weeknd or whatever. It's, uh, it's just the audio from the fans, which makes it feel like you're at a hockey game, not a, a concert. Sort of great atmosphere. 
<laughs> I mean, I love it. I really love the atmosphere here. I gotta say five star, let's be clear, six star atmosphere. All we need is a bowl from our boys in blue and the roof of this place is gonna blow off from the volume. Oh, okay. Nice shot, nice save. Wow, check it out. Everybody in the whole crowd standing up. And looking for a penalty. Oh, there was a fight over there. Oh, those two guys were gonna go at it. Wow, this is a lively atmosphere. I'm really thoroughly impressed. I think we'll have a good time here in Sweden over the next few weeks because this is playoff hockey. And so the series is only gonna get more and more feisty. Oh, I'm in rush. Three on two. Ah, I'm missing that by a mile. <laughs> Couple big hits. What? What? Oh, we we're gonna penalty and then they gotta keep going on the on the wraparound or something. I almost missed it because I was looking at the ref wondering what the call was. Whoa. Alright, rough start. Here's the ultras here. And this is the other team's ultras going for it. I can't rumba. What happened on that goal? Let's check the Jumbotron here. Ah, it just sort of snuck in between our goalie's arm and his... Ah, tough break. Okay, let's see how the team responds and let's see how the ultras respond. Something tells me these boys are only going to get louder as the game goes on. Whether we're winning or losing or tying. But uh, that's a backbreaker. About 10 minutes into the first, the home team is down one. Now, one thing I noticed that's different from the NHL is the NHL ice is a little bit smaller and I think specifically it's less wide, it's more narrow. So there's a lot of ice for these boys to maneuver. Although I will say, it's still pretty physical because they're finishing their checks almost every time the puck is passed. Maybe these two teams have a rivalry because they're going at each other hard despite the uh, big ice behind the net and width-wise. On it, on it, on it. Oh, nice pass. Nice try. I didn't see that guy either. <laughs> that would have been a nice goal. <laughs> and I tell you what, it's pretty fast hockey, despite the fact that this is actually the second division here in Sweden. So Jur Gardens is one of the more popular teams in Sweden. And of course, it's in the capital city. So typically they have more fans. There's more people at the very least. But uh, I guess they've been relegated into second division, which is something we don't have in North America and something we got to get because any sports league should have relegation. It's the greatest idea ever. If you finish at the bottom, you get sent down. And similarly, in this division here, in this league, if you finish at the top, you get sent up. It's, uh, it's a brilliant idea. I love the idea of promotion and relegation. Although, unfortunately, our boys are in second division now as a result. Power play. Time to even the scoring, boys. First power play of the game. Oh my gosh, half breakaway on a short-handed. Jeez Louise. That would have been a backbreaker, man. <laughs> Here we go, the ultras are getting loud, boys. Oh, come on. Sloppy power play, man. Oh. This one on three right to the goalie, and we're on a power play. What are you doing here, boys? There it is in the slot. Goal. Oh. Come on, one more chance for Oh, we're getting another power play. On the heels of the first, we're getting another one. Yeah, I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Oh my gosh. We are playing sloppy. We are playing so sloppy. Oh my gosh. Our goalie has had more saves to make than their goalie, and we've had two power plays in a row. Ay caramba. They got more shorthanded chances than we got power play chances. 
Hi, Cara. It's a Christmas song. That was Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle All the Goals. Oh, that was awesome. And so, I tell you what, the nature of hockey. I take it all back. I was riding these guys who have a terrible power play. They go down there, one shot, one goal is all it takes. And now we got us of the game. 1-1 one, one with two minutes left in the first. Way to go, fellas. Way to bounce back after some ugly turnovers. Whoa, whoa. Is hockey or rugby? <laughs> uh, that's playoff hockey for you. <laughs> Alright, that'll do it, boys. With a good old fashioned horn in the period. Let's go for another beer. Alright, so recapping the first period, it was a bit of a blur. Right. It all happened so fast. The action started before I was ready because the fans just started screaming with incredible coordination and then the players entered the ice through the pyrotechnics and from that moment, which was before the game started obviously, until the end of the first period, the energy was high the whole time. At one point, everybody was standing up and going wild uh -huh. and there wasn't even a goal being scored. I can't remember <laughs> a single time in Canada, for my Toronto Maple Leafs, right. that everybody was on their feet in the first period when nobody was scoring. <laughs> maybe overtime, maybe in the playoffs if someone scores a goal, but the energy here is just unmatched and it's only the semifinals. Mm -hmm. So I've been really impressed. Now, I think there's a law in Sweden where the beer you can sell is maximum three and a half percent. Because in the hockey arena as well as in the grocery store, even the name brands are only three and a half percent. I'm sure we'll talk about this more in other <laughs> videos. I mean, on one hand, where's the rest of my percent? But on the other hand, no, really, where's the rest of my percent? I mean, three and a half percent. How can you buy a vodka drink and only get three and a half percent beer? That's interesting. It doesn't seem fair. Yeah. As a beer drinking kind of guy, three and a half percent is... Interesting. <laughs> 70 percent of a beer, you know? But in the end, hockey's been great, so we'll finish up. I think you cannot bring your beer out there. No. So we'll finish up our very light beer, and then we'll uh, go back for second period. I'm glad the home team scored. 1-1 yes. one, one is a lot better than 1-0 at the True. end of the first. So now the home team will be shooting towards us and hopefully we'll get a goal right in front of us. Come on, let's go! Good! That's funny, it's uh, surprisingly quiet for the start of the second. We've hit a lull in the action here. We need a big hit or a, or a big goal to uh, fire up the crowd. Uh oh, our goal is blown on the back. Oh no. I think we're getting a penalty for shoot it over a glass because it was a bit of a scramble. Darn. All right, big penalty kill here, boys. Uh-oh. Oh, man. All right, well, I tell you what. Same story as the first period. They score first, we answer right back. No problem. Come on, boys. Our team seems to be able to go hot and cold. Sometimes we look slow, and sometimes we look pretty good. There's a nice little turn fire. Get away, fellas. 
Get a little fortune in heaven. I'll tell you what, I hate to see this. Oh! Nice catch off a tip. That was a great save by our goalie. That was a really great save. I tell you what, I wonder how good these seats are in the very front row. Because there's a good 10 feet in front of those seats in the glass. In Canada, it's a really good seat to be there. Here we go, here we go. In Canada, it's really good seats in the front row because uh, the action is right in your face and the glass bends forward right in your face. But I wonder if our seats are actually comparably better because our view of both ends is really great. And yet, uh, down there, I wonder how the view is because you're not really that close to the action. It's something different from the NHL arena to the uh, Swedish arena, or at least this particular Swedish arena. And I guess it's because some of the ice is coming on this side of the boards. I've never seen an arena like that. Even the arenas I was playing on in Canada, the ice stopped at the boards. Over here, the ice really comes around and uh, seats don't start until uh, after the ice ends. And another six or eight feet. Something different. Something different for me. We got a power play here. To be clear, the penalty was long before the whistle and long before their guy punched our guy in the head with his glove on. But uh, in the end, we're going to power play. I think it was a uh, tripping. Yeah, not a first trip. Another breakaway on our power play. What are we doing? Oh my gosh. He went fake shot backhand. It's a good move. But luckily, he missed a net. Let's see if we can uh, get something going. Our power play is worse than our 5 on 5 I mean, I know we got that goal earlier, but the puck's down here the whole time. I think the fans are booing. I could be wrong, but this is a bit frustrating to watch hockey because we're making stupid moves and coughing it up, and the puck's in our end again. It's a great play. Oh, man, that was a nice play. This team is hot and cold. We make a few bad turnovers right in front of our own goalie, or at least to give them a breakaway or something, and then we come back with a nice play and a good chance. Man. So their power play is over. We got one last chance in the net here. And again, Going the wrong way, and their guys coming out of the box. The hook, no? Oh, that. Ooh. Tell you what, I like to see that because quite often in this game, it's been this sort of trap across the blue line where the offensive team has got to dump and chase it in. Another brutal turnover. And so uh, it's nice to see a, a chance off the rush for once. Here we go, here we go. Move your feet, move your feet. Ah, got to drive right to the net. Dang. All right, the crowd's coming to life here. Oh, missing it again. Keep it in, buddy. Keep it in, that a boy. Here we go. We go and we're changing on the attack that's as good we got fresh legs and we've been on the attack for a minute or so i'm sure the defense is getting tired come on boys don't turn it over oh nice try oh great keeping great keeping oh great job uh, keep the drive going nice try boys hey good job guys good job good job yeah the crowd's gonna that one man we're just off just off by a bit all the time the pass to the feet, we can't pick it up. There it is! Oh! Off the post, man! Oh. We're off by an inch or two the whole game, or a half a stride or something. Oh. Wow, that period went by quick, no? There you have it, second period's done. All right, time for a beer. All right, second period review. Listen, I want to be clear. I'm not saying the team is bad and the team has no potential. What I'm saying is the team is playing bad and maybe not up to their potential. Because the first period, the fans were going absolutely insane. 
and the team was a bit sloppy, but the fans maintained. The second period here, the fans have quieted down so much. Right. And the body language of the person sitting beside me and beside Ivana is like palms to the sky, hands on the head, hands on the hips, leaning back, shaking their head. I'm not sure exactly what they're saying when they're speaking to the team, but at one point, I think the whole audience was booing. We made some sloppy mistakes. We've given up two breakaways on our power plays. It's a sloppy game so far. Right. So my point is, it's good news that we're only down one goal. Because we've made some mistakes, and so hopefully we can get one in the third, and over time, we'll be really getting your money's worth for these tickets. Come so on. Hopefully the home team comes back, because it's been, it's been kind of a sloppy game so far. Right. Also interesting, they'll sell you a very light beer. They won't sell you a full beer. And they'll also encourage you to gamble. <laughs> Every country has different rules. It's fun to see, you know? Anyway, third period starts soon. Also, I noticed there are lots of women here. We'll look at the lineup. <laughs> bad. Good point, Ivana. <laughs> First thing that happens is a two on one with a nice blocker saved by our goalie, mind you. Oh man, that was a nice play! Darn! Oh, that would have been nice. Right now, we are about 45 seconds into the third. That would have been a nice start to the period, man. Ultras behind the net. At the end of the second, they went back and they had not one but two beers. They got energy in them now. Wow, it's loud in here. I mean, this is what we do. We are making. I mean, this is two low lights in a row. We pass across defensive zone, miss the pass, and then we cough it up right after that. Hey, Karamba, I tell you what, Ivan, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give this team some redemption. It's not over yet, I understand that. But there's a game at home under the Wake up back under Sloppy out here, very sloppy. Tell the shot, tell the shot, tell the shot! Yeah! <laughs> Wow, we needed that. We needed that. I just barely got the camera on in time because it happened so fast. But that's a penalty shot. Woo! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess the fans go wild the whole time. What a unique thing. He's gonna go down, just him and the goalie, and uh, the whole crowd is behind him. We're all on our feet. We're all on our feet here. Here he goes. Does he go fast? Does he go slow? Does he deke? Does he shoot? That was almost, that was almost cheeky the way he did that. That was like cheeky cheeky. That was not a proper wrist shot. That was like a, like a slice sort of uh, saucer. Saucer pass to the top corner. Oh man, what a goal. That was awesome. That was awesome. And just like that, the crowd is, I think, almost back to uh, first period decibels. This is almost first period decibels. We are getting loud in here now. Come on, come on, come on.
about ready to give up too. Jam packed in here, and it is a uh, 3-2 lead for the home team. Hey, I think we're getting a high stick, man. All right, big penalty kill. Big penalty kill here. That means, I think that means he's getting a five minute major and he's getting kicked out. Which means we're going to be short for a full five. And it doesn't matter if the other team scores, we're still short. Oh, that's a back breaking penalty. Oh, man. Situation like this, we're going to need a huge penalty kill. And our goalie is going to have to be the best penalty killer. There's going to be at least two or three big saves this guy has to make to keep this a 3-2 game. Five-minute penalties, it seems to last forever. Puck's going to be down here for the full five, more or less. Oh, man. Look at that, they're taking their time. You need no rebound. Squeeze, squeeze it. a boy, goalie. a boy. a boy. That's the first of many. We got four minutes and 41 seconds uninterrupted penalty kill here. All the way, all the way. Ah. Attaboy, attaboy. This is a huge kill. The boost we'll get if we kill this penalty. I mean, if they don't score in five minutes, we'll get the next goal because we'll be flying out there. Oh no. Missed the net, thank goodness. Well, boys, ah! Gotta go out, atta boy, atta boy. All the way down. Oh, look at this. Oh, sloppy play here. What is this? What is this? Hey, we're coming for that. We're coming for that, coming for that. Out for this 49 in white. After the whistle, whenever there's a scrum, 49 is always at the center of it. I think he's got a. Uh, I think he's got some trash talk in his repertoire. Because he's always starting fights, and the crowd is going wild over here. The crowd is going wild. All right, we got about one minute left in this power play. Get away, fellas! Tell you what, this has been a very effective penalty kill. over. Five minutes killed. It's coming out. It's coming out. Yeah! Our players should get a huge boost from this. They should have some life in their step and the other team should be pretty demoralized especially by the crowd noise. Oh man, the crowd is awesome. The crowd is back. Wow, check this out. For a full two minutes and 45 seconds, the net is gonna be empty. White has six attackers on the ice, 
It might be the right move as per the analytics or something, but it's a bit risky or it's a bit early based on the old school mentality. Let's see what happens here. Oh my gosh, great play. Woof. That is it, that is it, that is it. That's a penalty. Okay, that's good, that's good. They got a trip trying to save a goal because their net was empty with almost oh, three minutes left. It's pretty early, man. And so now we're just gonna try to control the puck. You can pin it down there on the boards. Just try and drain the last minute and 20 or whatever's left here. Oh, actually a good scoring chance there. But even though we have a power play, we're not in any rush to attack. We're gonna slowly regroup here. The crowd is back in it. It's funny, the loudest parts of the game was the first minute and the last minute. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Sort of bookend the game with uh, some real passion and some real energy in that crowd here. Now, it'll be interesting to see if they pull their goalie. Yeah, they're going to pull their goalie again. So they're going empty net five on five here. Which, which yeah, not over yet. But the net's empty. Ah. All right, the penalty is over. So there is a chance for uh, 20 seconds of six on five here. Oh gosh. Nah, he couldn't get any win on it. He couldn't get any win on it. Woo! Tell you what, 14 seconds is enough time to win the draw and D to D and put it on net. So it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Yeah, big face off win all the way down. Yeah, that, that should be it. That should be it. No icing too. Perfect call, ref. Three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Woo Good win. Good win for your garden. It wasn't pretty, but it worked. Oh, <laughs> And so it's sort of funny because once I threw in the towel and said we'll come back on Thursday to give the boys some redemption, that seemed to be the exact moment we started scoring and came back for the victory. But in the end, I think we will still come back for the game on Thursday. It's right here in the same arena and uh, it'll be the second game of this series, which should only get more and more exciting and more and more personal between the players as the series goes on. But keep in mind, the video is not over. We gotta see if we can find Ivana's purse which may or may not be peed on in the snowbank. So we'll see what happens here. Ivana, what's your confidence factor? I think it's still gonna be there. You think it's still there? Yeah. I'm 50-50 yeah, at best. <laughs> we'll show you guys our hiding spot. It's not too creative, but it's just right by the front door. <laughs> Where could it be? Is it obvious? <laughs> we just made a pile here. Great. <laughs> Go home, throw it in the wash, and look at that. Just save yourself 20 bucks. What's the value of that when you bought it? Maybe 25 bucks, so there you go. Money, money well saved. And by the way, right across from the hockey arena, Avicii Arena. I guess Avicii is from Sweden. Yeah, I'm I assuming. guess so, yeah. I'm assuming. Avicii. Anyway, guys, the wind is blowing and you're getting cold and we just saved 25 bucks. What could be better than that? Oh, gosh. Let's go home.